And John Lee makes a comparison that when you're meditating, it's like fixing food for your own mind. If you fix the same thing every day, every day, every day, the mind is going to rebel. It's like working for someone and fixing the same thing every day. They're going to look for a new cook. In the same way, you have to check the mind as you're sitting down. As I say, as I say make a survey of the body, make a survey of the mind to see what you need. Sometimes you can go straight to the breath. Other times you spend more time with goodwill. Or you can go through the 32 parts of the body. Or you can think about the Buddha, the Dharma, the Sangha, if you didn't have a need to get inspired. You can think about death if you're feeling a little bit lazy. In other words, find the right antidote for whatever the problem is in the mind. And try to be sensitive to your needs every day, every day, because they will change. Even if you stay with the breath, the body needs different ways of breathing in the course of the day. What may work early in the morning doesn't work later in the morning, or in the afternoon, or in the evening. That sometimes happens. So try to be sensitive to what the body needs, to what the mind needs. <coughs> Pay careful attention. And as I say, the cook who pleases the employer gets a raise or a bonus. In the same way, your mind gets a bonus, a sense of refreshment every day, because that's what you're looking for. Don't let the process of meditation get mechanical or automatic. Think of it as refreshment for the mind, refreshment for the body. And ask yourself, what would be refreshing right now? As long as it's in line with the Dharma, it's perfectly fine. You keep the breath as your home base, but you do go out searching for food in other places too. In terms of the recollections, the Brahma Viharas, mindfulness immersed in the body. See what you need. And remember that you have a large array of foods that you can choose from. You've got a big garden. If your garden has nothing but potatoes, that's what you're going to eat every day, every day. You get tired of it after a while. So you plant lots of different things in your garden and they're there ready for you. So learn to develop some skill in the different contemplations, the different attitudes the different techniques you can use to get the mind to be willing to settle down, to stay settled down, regardless of whatever state it's in.